tipsy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit here on Forza Motorsports 7. We are staring down that wide body S15 James Dean edition uh, with Formula Drift Long Beach this weekend. Definitely super excited. Going to be watching that this weekend. Um, so excited to see all the new liveries, all the new cars, all new power plants, you know. With, you know, Matt Fields going into a Camaro, Camaro, <laughs> Corvette, and uh, James Dean and Vincek bringing back their S15s, and all the new liveries with Chris Forsberg, Ryan Turk, um, you know, Al Connadale and all that. It's definitely going to be a lot of fun. So we, you know, are definitely super excited, my girlfriend and I, to watch this. So I can't take credit for this paint or the tune in this car. We are going to try this tune out. I will show you guys the tune that I'm using. It is a five-star tune. Decided to give it a shot. So we are going to hit the streets of Long Beach in this S15. James Dean was nice enough to let me borrow it. <laughs> I wish. So we're going to hit up Long Beach, see if we can't get some runs in this S15, and uh, have a little fun with Long Beach this weekend for Formula Drift as well as ESDA in a, week, in a few weekends coming up here. So we're going to change this up. We're going to find Long Beach. There you are. Then we are going to go race. And we're just going to try and do some runs here at Long Beach. So if you guys watch Formula D, let me know your anticipations for the year down in the comment section down below. Do you think James Dean is going to be able to go 1-2 this You know, 1-2 wins. Do you think he's going to do a back-to-back? -back? Do you think he's going to have some competition? This year from Vincek, after Vincek winning at Irwindale in the last round of Formula D last year. Definitely stepping up his game as a driver as well. So, like I said, I cannot take credit for this tune. So, the tune we are actually using is... Let me uh, see if I can remember to find it. I believe I just went Drift, then I went Search, and I believe it was the first five-star tune. That is right here, rear wheel drive, stable drift, 777 horsepower, 2,600 pounds on sport tires at 295 width by QC Drifter 819QC. We're definitely going to give this a shot and see how his tune does. And uh, hopefully uh, we can do it justice. So we get the wheel cam turned on. It definitely sounds sick. The James Dean paint on point for sure. Can't take credit for that either. That I believe is from a member of TUS. So we are going to flip this. Oh my. Oh geez, this thing just breaks traction. This thing is so quick. I have a feeling this tune is going to take a second to get used to. As I say that, I rip around that corner. I am having a lot of fun driving other people's tunes and seeing what other people have going on with their tunes. We are on our Logitech G920, full 900 degrees of rotation with our 350 millimeter Energy Innovations wheel, as well as our hydraulic handbrake Logitech shifter in our Energy Innovations bucket seat. So uh, this car seems very powerful, and uh, well, we're just gonna send it. First run here, Long Beach in this. S15 tune. We're gonna cruise it at 50. Lay into it, going to third. Kick it in. A little bit shaky on entry, but we're still okay. There we go. Could have gotten wider out to that wall, but not as not too bad for the first run on this tune that I don't know. Uh it's actually a pretty decent run, other than the last part of it we could have gotten closer to the outside touch and go but you know we didn't have uh the right speed nor did we get much practice with this car because i literally just downloaded this tune and uh threw it in here to long beach so i think we could probably stay second no we're gonna have to go into third so this car is pretty stable not gonna lie this guy's got a pretty decent tune uh it is a five star tune i didn't check how many times it's been downloaded so could only be downloaded once or twice for five star, but give him credit. He definitely has a 
pretty uh, stable tune. I was kind of sketchy on the entry, so we're gonna not. We're just gonna send it now. So here we go. Roll in the throttle. Try and do the 50 cruise. Like ESDA would. Nice entry in. There we go. Right on that rumble strip. Could have gotten closer to those two sections, but we'll run that out. Wall tap. Crack our tail light. Downshift in the second. And second gear is what this car is definitely so much power. Uh, I apologize, Mr. Dean. We uh, kind of cracked your tail light, but uh, it's alright. I'm pretty sure you got a couple more tail lights. When I was in uh, Wall, New Jersey, they just have like, I don't know, 10 or 15 bumpers sitting there. Since Vin checking them, use the same bumpers and paint and all that stuff. It's easy for them to just share bumpers and such if they need to. Definitely a well oiled machine and a team. James Dean, the machine. So, definitely excited to see these guys back in action in the streets of Long Beach. Been, you know, scouring Instagram for all the uh, blurps of all the new liveries. A lot of the cars look amazing. Frederick Osmo's new car as well. The new Corolla is uh, definitely uh, a pretty crazy looking car. So, we're going to give us another shot. We're not doing too bad in this car. So, this tune, uh, doing this tune a little justice. And that was a late entry. Have to see hard on the brakes. And we're just gonna shut it down because uh, I entered way too late there. Definitely a fun car for sure. It is a pretty stable tune. Definitely not a a, a very uh, tame car. This thing uh, breaks traction real quick, but it is a lot of fun. So here we go. Throw it in there. Throw it in. Too wide. We're gonna somehow save that, but we're way off. So this, like I said, this car I'm not 100% comfortable in because I didn't run it until just now. So you saw the first run in this car. Did not run this car at all. I think we may try another tune for this S15 and uh, give another tune a shot. Definitely enjoying this. Uh, this car though for sure it's a it's a very nice tune probably a very good tune for drifting maybe not long beach but maybe some other nice sweepy turns and tracks but we are here at long beach because long beach is this weekend it's a little bit better a little shallow on that and uh that was a very sketchy entry wall tap again until it's already gone i thought we we're gonna break that tail light too and that's really wide. So I think we're going to switch up tunes, try another tune here, and uh, try sending another tune here at Long Beach in this S15. So we're going to go set up, tunes, get tune, and I believe we're just going to choose another drift tune as fast as we can. We're just do drift tune. TUS Profit. I believe this is actually the tune that the paint scheme I have. So we're just going to give this one a shot. TUS Profit. Download and install. TUS Profit is the person who designed this livery, I do believe, as well. So let's throw his tune on as well. Basically, give him his full car. And uh, yeah, we're going to send it here. Streets of Long Beach. TUS Profit. Tune and livery. RB Formula Drift RB, so uh, that's the name of this tune. So hopefully it uh, it'll do some justice here. I'll flip it around. This one does not seem like the power is as crazy as the other one. I believe. Ooh, it's got some pretty short gears on third and second, so that's nice. I do, I believe, have another one of TUS Profits tunes on A370Z and uh, I definitely do enjoy it. It's a pretty fun tune. And this tune seems like it's gonna be just as fun as I knock all the cones out and then wreck the beautiful car into a wall and uh, take the front end out. But not my car, renting it, but still shouldn't wreck it so hopefully we can Get some good runs and do this tune some justice here at Long Beach. 
All right, so here we go. Probably gonna be in third gear as well. Send it in. Ah, uh, wall tap there. So this tune's actually very stable as well. The power is not as crazy as the other car was, so it's a little less on the power, so definitely going to have to do a little more throttle with this car, but he uh, definitely has a pretty nasty tune, and uh, this thing's nice. I like it. Definitely want to take this car, probably do some online hoppers, and uh, give it a full rundown on some other tracks as well as try and get this car into tandems. See what the braking and such is like. It, like I said, I do enjoy trying other people's tunes. If there's a tune you guys want me to try, leave it down in the comment section down below. Leave your game tag in the name of the tune, and I will give tunes a shot. There we go, that's a little better. Not as close to the wall as I want to be, but Right on that wall, though. That turn always gets me. I, I gotta come in a little wider, but that was definitely a a, a pretty nice a pretty nice run. And uh, this tune is pretty nice, actually. I do enjoy this tune a lot. So I think we're gonna give this one more shot, and then we'll probably bust out the uh, the ESDA Camaro and give a one to run with that oh my gosh look at that yes because I do I should start getting more and more practice with that Camaro they're gonna be running an ESDA with ESDA very close so definitely excited for it definitely just hope to get some good qualifying runs in and qualify for the battles but you know what even if I don't still definitely gonna be fun and uh, a good time go. A little bit shallow on both the zones, but shallow on all zones, but you know what? Just trying to make a clean run. There we go. At least we got a clean run to finish this car off, so definitely going to keep this car how it is. So we are going to switch it up, grab our ESDA Camaro, and uh, run one or two laps in that before we end this episode off. Uh, like I said, I will be doing... Um, Open lobbies in Horizon 3 coming up here very soon, as well as GTA 5 and Forza 7. So look forward to the channel. We'll be live streaming some uh, open lobbies in all those games, as well as some other games coming to the channel, as well as airsoft videos coming to the channel as well. Like I said, I did go play some airsoft, got some videos to edit, um, so should be fun. So now we're going from 700 and some horsepower to uh, almost a thousand in this car. But, I do like how this car drives, so that's why I uh, keep it. Energy on the door, that's why I decided to stay with this car for ESDA. It's weird that my, uh, my tachometer is not showing my throttle or my braking response. It's a little weird. Maybe it's because I'm going backwards. I'm trying to heat up these tires. this tap so we're gonna rip this one or two tries just like we would if it was qualifying and see how we do like I said I haven't been driving this car much definitely need to drive this car more and uh, definitely get some practice so I don't you know kind of make a fool of myself so here we go throw it in here we go would like to get a little bit wider out to there, but not too, too bad. That was pretty bad. I've, the wall tap's not what I wanted to do, and I missed my shift. So, see, the problem with Long Beach, you make a mistake and your line is all off, and you kind of got to be on line to get this track perfect every single time. So it's definitely going to be fun. It's definitely going to be a challenge for me. 
Like I said, I'm hoping to get two good qualifying runs and get into battles, but then again, you know, just a chance to qualify and get a chance to qualify for ASDA is a lot of fun. And the fact that I'm going to, you know, try for it is, you know, something else. So definitely look forward to bringing that to the channel, letting you guys see, you know, my endeavors in ESDA. Uh, so let's see how we do in this one. Enter in. There's a little late entry. But could have been a lot worse, but we are going to probably get a full pull. So, you guys know you guys follow me on Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. All which are found in the description box below. And I'd like to thank you guys for watching. So until next time, guys, I'm Evil Rabbit. Look forward to a lot of things coming to the channel here very soon. New games, new content, as well as other stuff. So until next time, guys, I thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I don't think I'm going to make that. <laughs> and I'm out. I don't know how I made that. That was kind of a very butchered run. I can't see where I'm going.